Hello everyone, my name is Tim Hansen, and today we're going to be setting up botnet filtering on a Sonic Wall Gen 7 Sonic OS 7 firewall. Botnet filtering is probably the simplest of the security services to understand and set up. It simply takes the destination IP address for outgoing connections and the source IP address for incoming connections to the WAN and compares it against a list of known botnet or command and control type servers. If a match is made, the connection is blocked. Simple as that. To configure botnet filtering, head over to Policy, Security Services, and then Botnet Filter. If you're keeping the configuration simple, really all you have to do is turn this on. Decide if you want all traffic to get checked against the known botnet list or if you only want traffic hitting or matching access rules to get checked. I would enable logging personally and then you press the save button and you're all set. There are of course more options you can enable or configure if you desire to do so. So there's an option to block connections to public IPs if for whatever reason the botnet database is not downloaded or available. And then if you do want to add custom IP addresses to the list to be used by the botnet filter, you can turn this on and add them over here. Same thing goes for the dynamic botnet list, except for the dynamic list, you first have to go over here to the server tab and configure the specifics of where you're going to be pulling the list from. Once the list is pulled, you'll be able to go over to this tab and review the list of IPs that have been added. Okay, exclusions can be made here in the case of false positives. And then over here we have the ability to customize the block page shown to the end user if they do try to access a website that matches a botnet server IP. And over here on the diagnostics page, you can see some statistics related to botnet filtering, as well as a button to show IPs that have been caught by the filter or categorized as botnet. And then, of course, here's a, bo a box to test specific IP addresses to validate whether it makes a match in the database. All right. And then if we hop over to Access Rules and open or edit some random rule, and then come over here onto the Security Profiles tab, there's a little botnet toggle button here. So this allows you to disable the botnet filter on a per access rule basis. But the state of this toggle button will only get evaluated if under the botnet filter option over here is selected to firewall rule based connections. If you're using the uh, global option that checks all traffic from all IP addresses going to all IP addresses against the database, the toggle button on the access rules does not apply essentially. Okay. And that is pretty much it for setting up botnet filtering, okay? So I'll go ahead and conclude this video and say thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.